let's learn about what is a gamma function okay so my lower case gamma is represented like this and my upper case gamma is represented like this so my gamma function is represented with gamma in greek okay which is like this so my gamma for n is equal to integral 0 to infinity e raised to power minus x x raised to power n minus 1 dx okay your n over here is greater than 0 okay it can be complex but it cannot be negative and it cannot be equal to 0 okay so all real and complex numbers are allowed except for negative or 0 values okay so if your gamma of n is this what would be gamma of n plus 1 gamma of n plus 1 is going to be 0 to infinity e raised to power minus x x raised to power n plus 1 minus 1 which is x raised to power n dx okay and this is also known as pi function okay so this is your pi of n okay so your pi function is equal to gamma n plus 1 okay now let's analyze this guy analyze this gamma of n plus 1 or pi of n i want to integrate this by parts okay i would like to integrate this one and i would like to differentiate this one so let's see what do i get this is equal to if i integrate this i have e raised to power minus x upon minus 1 this thing as it is minus this thing which is minus e raised to power minus x therefore it's going to become plus e raised to power minus x and differentiation of this which is n x raised to power n minus 1 dx okay so what i am getting is look this is your gamma of n plus 1 okay so this is equal to e raised to power minus x or rather minus e raised to power minus x x raised to power n you have limits right 0 to infinity this is a definite integral so you have to apply the limits 0 to infinity plus n into integral e raised to power minus x x raised to power n minus 1 dx okay so this guy is equal to when x tends to infinity this thing becomes 0 okay and when x tends to 0 this thing becomes 0 so this is basically equal to 0 okay plus n into what is this this is your gamma for n okay just check out over here gamma of n is e raised to power minus x x raised to power n minus 1 dx okay which is same as this thing therefore this is gamma of n or what you essentially get is gamma of n plus 1 is equal to n into gamma of n is equal to pi function or pi of n okay let's try to find out what is gamma of 1 okay so this is going to be what this is going to be 0 to infinity e raised to power minus x x raised to power n minus 1 which in this case is 1 minus 1 dx okay so this is 1 x raised to power 0 is 1 so essentially you have 0 to infinity e raised to power minus x dx this is equal to minus e raised to power minus x from 0 to infinity 